What's up, beautiful people? In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the pros and cons of three different hydroponic systems that I'm currently growing with. Let's go! What's up, beautiful people? And welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. What's up, beautiful people? It's me, Ricky Jones Jr. And like I said, I have three different hydroponic systems that I currently am growing with and I'm currently using. And I've grown everything from seeds. And I want to talk to you about the highs and the lows, about the things that I don't like and do like about the hydroponic system. So without further ado, let's get to them. And if you're curious about any of these systems, I'll put links down below for you for them on Amazon that you can go and get them yourself. All right, first one. Spider farm hydroponic system. <laughs> All right, great people. So as you can see, the spider farm hydroponic system looks oh so nice. I must say it has a, a very a large amount of water that can be uh, stored in this bad boy. And it does have the nice settings, right? So I do love that. Um, that being that you have the time settings, whether it's four hours, eight hours, 12 hours, or 16 hours. Also veggie or flowers, whatever it is that you are growing, it does have the opportunity for you to do just that. So that is, and these are the pros of this here system itself. And I will say one of the cons is that I forgot what um, one of the comments were, but I'm gonna pop it up of what she called these, but I'm gonna just call it like the green stalks. She might have even called the green stalks. But that is what you get when you grow from seeds in these hydroponic systems. As you can see, I do have the domes over the pods, which I do have seeds in the pods, which can't even get the seeds. But anyway, <laughs> uh, seeds were used to grow what you do see. So you can see boom right there, boom right there, boom back there. Now they are like this because the light distance is oh so great. They say, it said that you want to have your light source two inches from the top of your tallest green, right? And so essentially it should be about this high. However, it is all the way up here, right? Which grants you the undesired growth of these here stocky greens which are no good at the end of the day these are not going to be good but i wanted to grow it out so you can see what was going on so even here it's doing the same thing even here like i don't even know what's going on here it looks like the uh roots are growing out rather than growing in which in is where it needs to be which i mean this is going to be no good anyway these were lettuce and this one, these were kale. And this one, this was basil for this one. But it's like, it's all for not at the end of the day. So I'm gonna have to change it up. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do with this because as you can see, growing from seeds isn't what you want. Now I do love the capability for a pro. I do love how large the water reservoir where you're able to add water. This is so great from adding food and it's adding water in general. This is amazing and it does have some water holes as well just to keep everything nice and clean, which I can even truthfully, let me just, I was gonna try to like lift it, but I can't find, oh, there it is, boom shakalaka. You can see, boom, the reservoir water is all there. Boom, shakalaka. Doing what it needs to do, but at the end of the day, it doesn't produce great greens. However, the way around this is that you can grow uh, vegetables and things like that that are already seedlings, okay? And so don't grow from seeds if you're using this spider farm system. Grow from seedlings, and that's how you can get away from the negatives of this your system and then be able to grow from the positives that they do that being the spider farm system does give you the capabilities to grow from so make that minor adjustment make that minor tweak and it'll give you huge profits on the other end which is what i'm going to do going forward with this here system like i just have to figure out how to get seedlings and let me know down below let us know down below if you know of seedlings that are out there that are clean to grow in hydroponic systems because all the uh seedlings that i do know of are in soil which if i put soil in this it will clog the system damage the system and not allow me to grow in this system. So definitely let me know and I'll figure it out in the comment section. I'll, I'll find out which ones work. I'll do it for you all just to show you all, just to let you know and give you the confidence that you could do it too. So let's go to the next one, which is the I do hydroponic system. And of course, I like to give you the pros and cons first. One of the pros is definitely the amount of water that you can store in the system. Another one of the pros that I do love about this system is that it has this fan and water feature, which I'm gonna tap it. 
boom and as you can see the fan is going now which i love that because the fan there's a, a nice little, little, little breeze. I'm going to say a little breeze, very little. Um, just to even show you, boom shakalaka, that is where the fan is amongst the LED light. But the benefit of the fan is that it's going to keep your bugs and things out of here. But then also, too, it will give strength to the uh, seedlings. Uh, as you can see, I am growing. Oh, boom, there's one I can uncover. There's another one I can uncover. Let's see if there's any other ones back here. It's growing. I'm going to just go ahead and uncover it. Technically, you want to keep the dome on until you have some growth because as you can see, it creates some condensation, keeps things nice and moisturized and ready for things to grow. And so also, as you can see, a con I'm gonna say is that the water entry point is very small, um, especially as opposed to the one we just looked after. But outside of that, you're good. There is the here if you want fan water power vegetables or fruits however it doesn't give you time frames to choose from the time frames are already chosen from so i would say it's a con because the spider farm system allows you to choose the amount of sunlight necessary which every vegetable every flower every herb requires its own amount of watering and so as you can see it is a little bit lower as far as the distance between the height and the light however it we do have a little stocky plant right and so that's a thing but i will say the benefit the other side of it is that the true leaves are now growing at a rate in which the plant may be able to sustain itself i'm gonna even take it out just to look at the roots which look at that who knew that many roots would grow from a seed even at this point of growth all of those roots are there and even here let's look at the roots boom shakalaka they look good i can now even add plant food to the system right here which i haven't done that yet because i wanted to make sure we had some growth going on and let's just even look at this one boom shakalaka it's doing great and so overall i'm gonna say it's doing well um if i was to rate how i like these and that would be the third one of the the three at the bottom this is number two, and of course, I'm gonna show you number one after this, but nonetheless, it's okay. It's great. It does what it needs to do. Again, add food here, and you have your settings. Four liters of water is the max that it can take. So, truthfully, the I do system may be more beneficial if you're growing from seedlings as opposed to seeds, um, but nonetheless, like you do get some great output when you do plant from seeds, which now that i'm thinking through this video and even talking to you all which is the beautiful thing about doing these videos but nonetheless as i talk to you all i'm like huh maybe hydroponic system number one could be the system that feeds these systems that would be slow and steady but i, I could get the desired results that i'm actually looking for but anyway uh like i said the cons are the time situation the pros is that you do have the fan you can go a little bit lower as you can see uh, a lot lower from the spider farm system um the reservoir isn't as big but you do get enough space to grow what you would want to eat ultimately right you could definitely feed a family of two off of this um you know you can you can do well you know you can definitely do well things grow faster a lot faster in the hydroponic system as opposed to growing in soil or in grow bags and things like that so that's one of the major benefits of growing with hydroponics or aeroponics and aquaponics things like that is that that water growth uh, medium is going to be a lot faster growth for your plants than the soil the um, cocoa core and other type of mediums okay so boom these are these two systems let me get to the number one system that i rate as the best system for growing hydroponically whether it's a beginner medium or a uh, expert in growing with hydroponic systems y'all <laughs> Boom, you all. We have the I Bloom Hydroponic System, which happens to be one of the latest systems that I have done an unboxing and review of, and which I am loving this system now. The funny thing about this system is I started this during the evening, and so during the day, the lights are off, but during the night, the lights are on, which is like a pro and a con, I must say, because it does give us light during the night. However, it's very bright. But nonetheless, in it all, it does have, now just look at the systems. You have the bed you have the flower and you have the pump which you definitely want to keep this pump going and circulating all that good stuff just keeps the water uh, doing what it needs to do but it's on veggie mode because we are growing vegetables and not flowers and 
obviously we definitely want the power on if you're growing anything you want the power to be on now as you can see the beautiful thing the number one reason why i love this system more than the others is that we can move the led light exactly two inches like you can go all the way lower than this which i did when it was growing the seeds and it can definitely raise as the flowers and the plants and the well vegetables grow themselves we already did a video where we talked about the silver things definitely go back and check that out if you missed it but nonetheless as you can see these look great now i grew these started these a week before the ones outside but you can already see the vast difference in growth and the maturity of the plants themselves i have put plant food in here in which the area to do so is rather small so it is a con for me um but nonetheless you know hey see it's even hard to get in there but boom there's the opening for the water and food area opening reservoir that's one of the only cons I will say and even like the time frame differences but it's been on veggie and veggie has been working great for the system as you can see the veggies are growing also well I have some kale back there collard greens I believe and one of these are basil we'll see as it grows <laughs> truth be told I don't know which one and I even did some like rosemary and lettuce in here as well so we'll see which is which here you can see the watering area is based off a of buoyancy system, which was pretty cool because as I added the water over here, I noticed that the minimum was going up and to it get to the level of maximum in which you may be like, wow, the water goes. Yes, the water goes because the uh, vegetables themselves soak up the water through the roots. And, um, you know, that's how all that works. But as you can see here, boom, this was at the max. You let it go and it's gonna, you know, boom, boom, boom. See, it's buoyant. So even as I push it due to the water, it's gonna go up, which I love the system for that. And so let me see, am I able to even get to the roots? I don't even know. I forgot what this sticker does. Oh, nope, we can get to the roots. Let's look at the roots on this bad boy. Yep, I'm not gonna do too much. I don't want to mess anything up but anyway I love the emblem system not only because it looks great I do love it because like I said it's nice smaller compact but big enough to be able to grow different things that you do and would want to eat um, it's very great on the indoors and it works very very well which is why the emblem system is the number one system for me rated by me because of the various things that I have said so again like I said all links will be down below for these three hydroponic systems because you you too could be growing hydroponically. Now, the overall thought that I was thinking while I was outside as I was talking to you all is that I could be growing in this system, the um, plants, herbs, and things like that into a nice maturity level in which then I could take them outside to grow into the other hydroponic systems, maybe the I do. So maybe it could be from the I bloom to the I do to the spider farm, and that could be where I harvest from the um, spider farm system. So I may give that a try, give that a grow, and let you all know know how that goes and flows and so hey make sure y'all stay tuned because different things will be coming up because different things will be happening because different things will be growing and different things will be tried that again you too could be trying <sighs> so again i love doing these videos because it not only gives me the ability to try different things do different things and figure out different things but also it allows for us to be able to learn and grow together which is why i always say you never have to garden alone because you could always guard it with me and definitely let me know in the comment section any thoughts ideas or creative ways in which you desire to grow hydroponically that maybe you want to see me try or do and i would definitely give those videos a try but until then i'm gonna just rock things out as i see fit or as i am like thinking through and i'll definitely share those things with you so in bloom number one i do number two spider farm number three but again all three will be in the description in the comment section down below and well in the description down below because you never know i never know where you are growing from and so each system has its pros and its cons due to that maturity growth and level in which you may be doing your growing from so and all with the all great people i love you all i appreciate you all and thank you thank you thank you for watching these videos because you never have to garden alone because you can always garden with me until next time peace love you ha -ha.